Welcome to October 23rd, the sixth work day of the week that we shall call Preparation Day for the Sabbath, or some of you like to call it a Friday. Well, brethren, let's get right into the Lord's Care Ministry. Knowledge and Wisdom Comes from Above, Day 296 of the year 2009. Now time to open up our Bibles again, brother, so that you can read along with me. You can also write down on pad and paper the chapter and verse, so you can study the whole context at your own leisure and get the full meaning of what we're trying to put forth here. If you're following me in your Bible, then you should read it. Use the pause button down here because I go faster than most of us can find the chapter and verse in our own Bibles. Well, with that, we will start with John chapter 6 and verse 63. It is the Spirit that is quickening. Now let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 45. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Now let's move over to John chapter 3 and verse 6. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. Many don't really understand all of that. Christ goes on to explain that as the wind blows, you can't see it. He knows where it comes from, but you can't see where it comes from or where it goes. If you're in the spirit mood, that's how you would be. If you're flesh and blood, you can prick yourself with a pin. If you show blood, then you're of blood. Now let's go to Titus chapter 3 and verse 5. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Spirit. King James would say that the Holy Ghost, but my God is no spook, so it should read Numa or Spirit. Romans chapter 8 and verse 9 through 11. If many men have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, look at that word if, the conditional word. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. What sin? You know the meaning of sin? Study it. But the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him that is raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, that's the Holy Father, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall quicken or make alive your mortal bodies by his Spirit that is dwelling in you. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. I live, yet not I, but Christ is living in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I have by the faith of the Son of God. Now let's turn over to Romans chapter 6 and verse 11. Reckon you, yourself be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Wisdom comes from above. The way of the Lord is strength. The righteousness have security. It comes from counsel. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 14 reads, Where there is no counsel, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 6, For by the wise counsel you will wage your own war, and in a multitude of counselors the is safety. It comes from neighbors. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 29. Do not devise evil against your neighbor, neighbor, for he dwells by you for safety's sake. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21. 
your ear shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. He is a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. I will go in the strength of the Lord. Psalms chapter 71 and verse 16. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. Beware of the tradition of men that make void the word of God. Many a take the next day, tomorrow, the seventh day of the week, and go do all kinds of things. The Lord says that day is His Sabbath. He proclaimed it in Genesis chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. Throughout the rest of the Bible, He says we should go and congregate together on that day and worship Him on that day. He made holy no other day, only the seventh day of the week. Brethren, if you had been doing different and you want to follow the Lord, get down on your knees and repent. Ask the Father and the Son for forgiveness for not paying attention to His Word, but paying attention to the tradition of men that make void the Word of God. And if you truly want to change in your heart, the Father and the Son will hear you and grant you that and come into you and give you that pneuma, their spirit. Well, with that, brethren, I have one more other thing to say. If you would go like to get onto a Bible lesson, go and load up Skype, S-K-Y-P-E dot com. And when you get in there, use this. F-G-R-O-T. I'll say it again. F-G-R-O-A-T. F-G-R-O-A-T. Type that into your Skype after you come on. And come in so we can have a video conference with you and all the like. And we are trying to put on a Bible study for a group. Well, with that, brethren, we're closing for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.